Hi, this is Handy Doctor. Have you ever wondered how much electricity your electronic use? Well, here is the good news. You can get a power meter like I did. I will put the link to the description below in to Amazon. So you can get the same one if you like it. It's very simple. All you need to do is plug into a wall socket. Of course, to make it easier for video taking, I actually plug into an extension cord. And then you put your electronics in the front or if you have multiple electronics you plug in a power strip you look at it it have multiple functions that you can see uh, you can reset it by the way so we will reset it uh, you will have the watts at the moment zero nothing connected to it you have kilowatt hour since the last time we reset it zero and currently it is 125.4 volts, 60 hertz, and it is 0 m. And then the lowest watt and the highest watt since last time we reset it, both are zero obviously. And you can put into the amount of money per kilowatt hour so you can automatically calculate the cost. But I don't really like that function so I did not put it in. Anyway. I have a power strips with four USB charger on it. Nowadays, we probably have 5,000 of them at home. And there is a question people ask. How much do they use electricity when they are not charging anything? Or change the question in a different way. Should I unplug them to save energy? Well, let's find out, okay? So right now they are plugged in and I am going to insert into it. And what do you see? Zero watts. Oh, actually go up to 0 0.2. But sometimes it may be just several seconds and then it will go down. Okay, it is 0 0.1 watts. 0 0.1 watts. Okay. So let's charge some device and see how much electricity they use when it is charging. So uh, this is an old Apple charger. Let's put my Fitbit into it. It go up to 0 0.7. Okay. And here is a Amazon charger that I can use to charge my Android phone. Become 8.4 watts. And here is one, the newer Apple charger that I can use it to charge an iPad. Oh, uh, this is bigger, 19.4 watts. Okay, so that's how much electricity they use when they are charging something. I'm going to disconnect the charging device again and see if it goes down to what? It goes down to 0 0.2. Okay, so if they're not charging anything, they approximately use roughly 0 0.1 and maybe 0 0.2 watts of electricity rather minimum because that means in a year it use roughly one kilowatt hours and you know the price is different location to location but that's about 20 US cents so is it worth to unplug them? I don't really think so, uh, unless you really have 5,000 of them. Of course, some people have another question, which is, would the charger go back earlier? Or maybe when they, for whatever reason, cause fire. Well, if that is the case, then unplugging them would be a good idea. But for the sake of saving energy, I don't really see the need of it. Now let's test computer. Right now the computer is on, 
but not doing anything, it uses 54.4 watts of electricity. That means more than one kilowatt hour per day and probably about 500 kilowatt hour a year, about a hundred bucks. So I don't know about you, I definitely will not let my computer stay on all the time. This is significant. By the way, this is about 2,000 USB charger, if you haven't realized. Now, most people will put their computer in sleep if they don't use them. In this case, it will use 3.4 watts of electricity. Well, that is about 150 USB charger, and this will be about $6 in a year, much better. How about the computer is entirely off? It still uses electricity, by the way. Use 1.1 watts or 40 USB charge and $2 a year. Okay, I guess that's not that bad. So this is how to measure the power consumption of your electronics. Obviously, it's not that nice an idea to leave your computer on all the time. It's much better to put it in sleep or turn it entirely off. But USB charger use very little, way, way less than what your computer use when it is entirely off. By the way, hibernation use the same amount of energy as when it is totally off. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If that is the case, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.